Hello, welcome to day one of my Adventurous Sky Bundle Classic Go. So all this week, Monday through Thursday, I will be sharing four different cards and you can earn those cards in the class kit completely free. There's three ways to earn it. You can earn it free with a $50 order. And you're going to get the class kit completely free. That's going to come with all the supplies needed to complete your cards. You will need to provide the bundle, this inks and the Stampin' Blends that we're gonna use for the cards over the week, but um, all the other supplies will be provided. Um, you will need the dies. There are some, this is the the card we're making today, but you will need the dies to die cut your own plane. So make sure that you have this bundle. You can always purchase that in my online store if you need to purchase it. The second way to get it is to um, place a $100 order in my online store. That's gonna give you the free class kit plus five bonus cards from my basket. Um, the five cards may not coordinate with the bundle, but they're going to be fun cards for inspiration. And then the third way is to place a $150 order in my online store. That's going to renew the class kit, the five bonus cards, and you're going to get the free, a full package of the free embellishments that we're using on these cards. And that is the industrial trinkets. And these are really fun embellishments to use, um, for all of your, your little projects, um, they are, they're a lot of fun. I've had a lot of fun with these. So you'll get a full package of those with that $150 purchase. Um, for the first two options, you do need to use the host code. The host code is listed in the video description. There's also a link to my blog where you can check out all the details along with more photos there um, and more details on how to order. So this is the bundle we're using today. We're using the Adventurous Sky Bundle. Remember, you will need this to complete your cards. And there is a supply list of all the inks and stuff that you'll need for um, today's card on my blog post and in the video description as well. So um, this is a really fun, fun bundle. Um, I've enjoyed this one a lot. It's in our annual catalog. We also have some coordinating DSP that um, goes so perfectly with this. We're actually using it on all of our cards. Um, this month, you can get that DSP 15% off. It's called Take to the Sky DSP. And it is... Fantastic. You can get a 15% off. So shop for that in my online store this week as well. You do need to place your orders by August 25th to get the class kit. Um, so anytime in the next, um, you know, six or seven days, make sure you get that, that order in to get this class kit free. So this is card number one. And like I said, I will bring you three other cards on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. There will be videos that coordinate with those as well. So let's jump in and make today's card. Um, I'm using the same DSP, but we're using a couple of different patterns. But let's talk about our card base real quick. We have Smoky Slate. This is eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. And you're gonna get all of these supplies cut and scored and ready to go in your kit. We're gonna do a little bit of background stamping on here. You see the plain bet stamped in the background here? So I'm gonna go just grab a piece of scratch paper here and my Smoky Slate ink. And we have that big stamp from the stamp set. And we're just gonna ink that up and just stamp it all over the background. Um, there's no, I'm gonna make sure my card opens the right way. We don't want the planes flying upside down. But other than that, there's really no kind of rhyme or reason to how these planes are, are stamped on here. We just wanna kind of fill in all of that space. So let's see, maybe one like this. Now the center section is going to be pretty covered up. So don't worry about being too perfect in that center section. Just go ahead and get some of those planes on that, on the card stock there. Perfect. So that is our, our background stamped. And while we have the ink out, let's go ahead and stamp our greeting here. This is on a piece of very vanilla. This is three and a half by three fourths. And I have the greeting that says, you're the best plain and simple, which I think is probably my favorite greeting in this bundle. And I'm just going to stamp that and I'm going to keep it to the right of the cardstock. Perfect. Looks great. And that's all of our stamping. So we're going to go ahead and put our smoky slate ink aside. We're done with that. Um, let's go ahead and build our plane before we get on to the next part. So I've already die cut my plane pieces in very vanilla. I have the kind of the base of the plane. Um, then the wings are in copper clay. And then I have two propellers in very vanilla as well. And the dies are, are really fun. Where do my dies go? <laughs> Here they are. The dies are really fun. They'll actually cut both propeller pieces at the same time. So you don't have to run that through twice. You can only run that through once. Now, if you wanted to... Um, die cut these three pieces on some adhesive sheets that will make adhering things down just a little bit easier. You don't have to, but um, 
I didn't do that, but if you have trouble with um, gluing down intricate pieces like this, I would recommend some adhesive sheets. Now our plane, you can see the top just kind of, there's nothing behind there. So if you do use an adhesive sheet, it's going to be glued down completely flat to your card, um, which is fine. There, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm going to pop mine up on dimensional. So when I do put it adhesive on here, I'm not going to put any on the top up here. I'm going to put a little bit on kind of, I guess, what would be the engine part, a little bit back here, on here, and then I'm just going to kind of, just kind of dot. I'm not, I'm not even really squeezing my bottle. I'm just kind of dotting the glue along the wheels there. This glue, um, our multi-purpose liquid glue, this a little goes a long way. So just be real gentle with it. You don't need to, you don't need to go too heavy with it. Um, when I line this up, I like to make sure that the wheels are lined up. And then everything else kind of just falls into place with the wheels lined up. Just kind of tilt that down. Of course, I said that and then like I'm <laughs> just struggling to get this lined up. There we go. The wheels, you just want to make sure your points that you're checking. The front up here, this little back tail piece right here, this will coordinate with that um, very vanilla piece. And then just make sure your wheels are lined up. There you go. There's your, your little plane. We're just going to add the propellers. I'm just going to do this in an X. I'm just going to add just one dot of glue and I'll add one propeller and then I'll add another dot of glue and I'll add another propeller going this way. Okay, now we're going to set this aside to dry. All that liquid glue has time just to set up and dry for a second. And let's put our liquid glue away. We're done with that. All right, let's bring back our card pieces for our little um, greeting piece here. I'm just going to trim this into a banner. So I'm just going to cut basically up the center. Then I'm going to go from one corner to the end of that, and the other corner to the end of that, and that will give you your little banner piece. Throw those pieces away. All right, let's talk about our... Our DSP pieces, so you can see here I used a couple of DSP pieces from that Take to the Sky DSP. Again, that's on sale this month. So I'm using the same tag. I've die cut this using, um, that will be in the video description, but I die cut this using a tag die. I think it's the Greetings of the Seasons tags, which is um, newer in our online exclusives. Let me see if I have that one here. That is not the one I used. So I will I will make sure that I have that listed in the video description and um, just check that for the for the tag. But I did die cut that tag. It'll be die cut um, in your kit as well as the circle. This one will be die cut as well. Now you see I'm using a different DSP here. This one I use like the copper clay um, plaid one and this one I'm using the plain pattern which I think is going to be really fun on this one too. So we're going to go ahead and glue these down. Um, but before we glue them down, let's add our ribbon to so this one. So I have a couple pieces of ribbon. This is the Pecan Pie Center Stripe Ribbon. And I'm going to feed that through my tag. And I'm going to grab a little clothespin. You can use like a, a binder clip or anything just to kind of hold that, that ribbon closed, just like that. It's going to give us just a little bit of stability to tie our, our twine. That way we're not trying to hold the ribbon together and trying to tie our linen thread here. So it just gives us a little bit more stability. So with that little clothespin on there, I'm just going to tie our linen thread into a knot. It's gonna hold everything nice and secure. We can move our, our clothespin and then we can go ahead and tie that bow with the linen thread. Once it's in a knot and it's holding everything in place, then we can go ahead and tie that bow. All right, so just trim the ends here a little bit. And then I'm just going to trim these ends just add a little bit of an angle there, just like that. All right, so our ribbon is ready to go. Let's go ahead and put these onto our card. So I'm gonna use some stamp and seal for, for these pieces. You can use whatever adhesive you use on your cards. And we're gonna stick down our circle first. So just like that, kind of off to the left, a little bit below center. And then our tag is gonna go on Kind of not, we're not putting anything on straight, so that's going to help us out with, with this whole card layout, but super fun look here. And let's go ahead and add our greeting, and I have some dimensionals for that. We're going to, I'm just going to put kind of three across here, just like that, and we'll just line this up. I'm going to line it up against that left side of the card, against the bottom here, just 
just like that, perfect. And we're ready to put our plane on, and that's gonna go on with dimensionals as well. So grab a few of those. I'll put one kind of on the front, I'll put one in the back and one in the middle. That'll hold down our plane. Now if you have adhesive sheets on here, um, you can just glue it straight down. That'll work too. And we're just gonna pop that up kind of like he's taking off at an angle. Perfect. Now our final finishing touch, we're gonna use one of these industrial trinkets and you can use either side. There's um, two different sides to these. So you have um, like the hexagon, the flat hexagon side, um, and then you have like this kind of star textured side. So I'm gonna use this side. So I'm gonna put my glue dot on like the little star side, but you can use either side that you want. We'll pull that off the glue dot and then we'll stick it right here. Um, I will mention that these are a little bit heavier than normal embellishments, so you may need a little bit of extra postage if you're planning on mail the, mailing these. Otherwise, you can um, hand deliver these, no problem. All right, so that completes our first card for our Class to Go series. What do you think? Let me know which DSP you prefer. Do you prefer the, the copper clay plaid one or do you prefer the airplane one? Um, this one will probably be the one in your kit, but... Um, I think they both look great. I can't decide. I, I love them both. So thank you so much for joining me. If you have questions on how to get this class to go, please let me know. Um, otherwise, I will see you tomorrow for card number two in our adventurous sky class to go. Have a great day. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.